Hello everyone, my name is Filipa. Welcome back to a new video here on YouTube. I moved into my new office, as you can see. I hope you like it. I mean, we're still working on the background, but it's definitely coming together and I'm really loving it. Uh, so that's why I haven't been posting in a bit over a week, but I'm really excited to be back. And while I was gone, we reached 8K subs, which is so cool. As some of you know, I have the goal to reach 10,000 subscribers. And I know that 50% of you or more that are watching this video are not subscribed. So if you like my videos considering hitting that subscribe button to help me reach the goal before the end of the year. I would be very, very happy and do a celebration. Uh, and I'm really excited to bring some standard content. I had this really cool idea. Actually, one of you commented like this idea and I started cooking and I came up with this very, very fun gruff triplets deck that the idea is that you kind of sacrifice the triplet so that the other triplets get bigger. And it has a lot, a lot of cool ways to do that. But but before we get into the deck, don't forget to comment, subscribe, that really helps the algorithm. Algorithm, And yeah, let's get into the deck. We are playing three cutdowns, three not dead after all. And this kind of reminds me of Scam in Modern. I don't know if uh, some of you might be familiar with that deck, but not dead after all, it's a card that usually it's not really good. Uh, until the end of the turn, target creature you control gains whenever this creature dies, return it to the battlefield, tap, and it, it's controlled, then create a wicked roll token attached to it. But the idea is that to the you do this on the graph triplet. It has to be the original one, not the copies. So then it returns back to the, gr the graveyard. And actually, I don't want to spoil you, but the interaction works super well. If people are trying to board wipe and you have the triplets and you use this on the triplet, everything comes back pretty big. I don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil, but it's a very cool interaction. And we actually can win this in response of our opponents killing our triplets, or we can also have some sneaky ways in the deck to sacrifice the triplets ourselves. And in response, we do not that after all, and it comes back. We have two Gopher Throats, we have Scrap Gorger, we have Mosshood Dread Knight, we have three braids. So braids is one of the ways that you can sack uh, the triplet and then do the not dead after all to return it. We have three return from the wilds. This deck really needs ramp because triplet is expensive. So we really want to get it as soon as the sooner the better in this deck to get it. We also have the four huntsman redemption. This card is really good. It gets you a three, three, then you may sacrifice a creature. So that's why we're playing return the wilds as well. Cause you create a one, one, you can sacrifice it. If you already have triplets, you can sacrifice it as well. Uh, and you get any card creature card from your library to your hand, if you sacrifice something. So usually here we get our triplet and then the third part, you have up to two target creatures, each get plus two plus two and trample until the end of the turn. We have four Stompers. Once again, this is for our Rampy Ramp. We have three Alpac Piper. This is a way because <laughs> these blue decks try to counter me way too much. So I decided to play Alpac Piper. This card is great against blue. It's good against white or at least bearable. It's okay against green as well because usually green doesn't have a lot of removal. It is bad against black and red because black and red both have a bunch of removal. But we do have not that after all. So if they try to go for throat or even cut down our all pack piper, try to keep one mana from the not that after all. We are going to be ramping anyway, so it's easy to have excess mana. And if this survives, it's huge. It has day and night. In the day, we can just pay to mana and tap it once it loses the summon sickness and we can get our triplets for example if we have it in hand and then if no spells are played and it becomes night this transforms and whenever a creature enters the battlefield or transforms into this you look at the top six cards you may reveal a creature card from among them and put it in your hand so we usually want to get triplets and cannot be countered this cannot be countered <laughs> we have four graph triplets it has trample don't forget that it's crucial because we want to make them as big as possible. If you don't know this card, you should because this card is great. It is six mana, three, three trample whenever enters battlefield. If it is on a token, you create two tokens. So it enters three, three, threes. And then whenever one of them die, you put a number of plus one, plus one counters equal to its power on each creature you control named graph triplets. So in this case, you have three, three, threes, one dies, then you have two, six, six, then one dies, then you have one, twelve, twelve. If we have even more, the things escalate pretty quickly. We are running five swamps, seven forests, four dead cap clade, four lenora waste, and four restless cottage. 
for some also advantage? Let's play some games. I am really proud to only work with brands that I really love and trust. And that is why I'm so happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by 341 Trading. They're having a Black Friday sale that starts on November 22nd. Their online store has a fantastic selection of IN Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and old school players. Sign up on their website to be the first to know when their Black Friday promotion starts and when new sale items go online. Don't miss the chance and thank you so much 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. I can keep this, we have ramp, we have an early creature, no removal but we are on the play so... Okay. Quite annoying, not going to lie. They want to do it now, okay. Pretty annoying that I cannot do anymore, but okay. So right now we have five lands, we're still a bit away. It is very interesting. Cannot be countered. I hope they don't play anything so it's night so I can get a creature. Temporary lockdown. Okay, that makes sense. Sunfall is annoying. It is night, so I'm going to actually get a creature out of this. Let's see if they have Wandering Emperor. Oh, I completely forgot they had this. It's not very smart of me, is it? So it's day again, good for me. They have five cards, I'm going to take it. Unfortunately, I think they have an answer for my Piper. Maybe they are just reading it that they need to play something. It might be that one. Right now they have two, it's fine. This is instant or this is sorcery, unfortunately. I think they have Wandering Emperor, so I kind of don't want to tap this.
Not a sunfall would be really bad for me, but at least I would get rid of that. The luge is annoying. I have so many lands that I can actually do that. Oh, they actually do sacrifice a land. Okay. They have another board wipe then. Okay. Ooh, this this would be a would have been great one turn before. Gain two lives, draw two cards, and discard two cards. This is such annoying. Fatal, fateful mending. Oh, ah, they they want to mill me. I see. It's exile, so. Where are my triplets? Yeah, this is pretty annoying. I don't want to take six, so I'm just going to block. Do I still have triplets after this? I still have one triplet only. But here it is. Okay, do not have exiling effects, counter effects. Sure, they draw two, they discard two. Temporary lockdown actually doesn't work against triplets. Not bad. You're wondering how did this happen? Well, I explained. The triggers were on the stack and the thing came back. So it came with all those plus plus on it. Not bad. I should say, not bad. I think that's what happened. This is very keepable. Love it. We can start with the cottage. Hello. How are you, opponent? We'll start with some rampy ramp. Do not lay arms, do not lay down arms. Okay, so they have removal, source of. Not going to let this leave, I'm sorry. What do you have, opponent? Spirited companion, okay, fair enough. So here I could have done Restless Cottage, I think that would have been better. But yeah, I didn't, so... Hopefully they don't have removal. They most likely will have. That's fine. What else do you have, opponent? What else? Another one. I just wanna start using this. Ooh, another one.
if it's a wolf or a werewolf. Unfortunately, it's not. But okay. Next turn, we'll do another one. Oh no, never mind about the other one. Why do they play with the beetle juice thing? Virus beetle. Ooh, but that's not bad. Not at all. They just take it, okay. They are down to 11, which is great. Lords, Kittle, Beatles, Beatles, that's fine. So they can kill one thing, I think. Maybe. These things have trample, which is amazing. I should have replied to that, by the way. That was on me. Should I could have replied with a scrap gorger. Now it's a bit too late. Don't mind if I do. I could have used this, but... I'm just going to attack. At this point, I'm just having fun. He says trample. Just want to see what they do. So this has trample, this has trample. They have to block. But then this, they have to block as well. And if they kill my triplets, then these triplets will get bigger. And it seems like they just cannot get out of the situation. <laughs> so I can do this, I guess. Take it, opponent. Just take it. Mean actions. This is very keepable. We have ramp, we have card draw, we have card selection, because we can just search for our triplets we have more ramp he's an ideal and if i ever saw one so i can even start with the glade because why not i just want to see what they're playing red yeah red is a bit annoying not gonna lie not gonna deny but we love me some scrap burger This is not a terrible end uh, against Mono Red, so not too bad. Okay, so they probably have the two damage one. And since I value my mana quite a lot, I'm just going. Or they have the monstrous rage. Yeah, that's more annoying, but not much. Ouch. Go for some redemption here. That's fine. I'm at 9, but they only have one card left. Ooh, this is great. I don't think I want, honestly. 
So this is one mana of any color. So what I can do is this. I do this to not take one damage, but then I can also not block, but it is what it is. So let's see what they choose with that. Where do they put the wicked roll? There, it makes sense. Yeah, so I have to kill something. I think it has to be this. He does come back, but I do have the exiling from this. I'm at six, which is quite low. This way, we get a land, and then this can attack. And I actually will attack with both. By attacking, I will exile the Phoenix Chick. It's important to choose the right one here, and then I'm just going to put play this 3-2 Trampler. They go down to 9, and now they need, they need to top deck something. Does that will block now? This blocks now, even if Mishra Foundry gets activated. Squeeze. Squeeze good, but it's not enough. So let's see, I can do... I love winning against Mono Red! Love this. It's kind of slow though, but not too slow where I dislike it. But, okay, it's against black. If it was against red, I would be concerned. They are going to kill this, it's fine. You may cast it from your graveyard until... Oh, they did not kill this. So maybe they have Liliana. Ooh, it's Golgari. Oh no, I cannot be the fellow, fellow Golgari enjoyer. Like, how can I do that? I just can't. Just not fair. Why does the matchmaker put me again a fellow Bulgari lover? Like. Let's attack first, see what they do. Brave. Okay, I'm going to make a 1 1 search for a forest. Unfortunately. The packs are not great against black, because they just have a lot of removal. But still, I can do uh, braids. Okay, so they have gopher. Love that for them. I can still cast next turn the adventure side. Perhaps get a land, hopefully get a land. Ooh, copycats. Besties. Uh, okay, that's, you know what, that's fine. I don't play with this. Maybe I should. Okay, so I don't want to do this because I don't want to lose the... Yeah, and now I want to do this. Next turn I can sack the 1-1 one, one to get my triplets. I can cast them. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can cast them, right? Because these are stopped, so I need a land. Okay, so they killed my bestie. The 3-3, three, three, not great. Okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, yes. Uh... <laughs> you wanna sack yours? They can just give me the card advantage. 
fair enough. The thing I want to do the most is play my triplets and then sacrifice one of the tokens to braids. Get all my other triplets to be even bigger and make my opponent cry. Three mana. What do you possess? Hopefully not removal. This Viper is really bad against black. It's really good against blue because it cannot be countered. It's bad against red and black. It's okay against white. I guess they can ossification these or anything else, so... Oh, plus Nightmare. Okay, I can... One of the 1000. Start by attacking. Are you sure? Yeah, I knew they had something fine. Here comes the trouble, make it double, actually triple. I hope they are not also playing your full triplets. Oh, ooh, that's not great. That's not great. Oh, they are playing obliterator fight. They are playing obliterator fight. You know what? Fine. What can I do? Why do I make so much cool decks than then people like to see? Well, if... No, no, no. If you like this deck, if you like this deck that just beat at me, I made this deck, okay? I made it. Go watch on my YouTube. Why do I make these decks that are so mean and then defeat me? No words. Keep or mool? Keep. I mean, Scrap Gorger gives me... Why good game? We just started. No, it's not polite to say that. Just say hello. Nobody thought you manners playing Esper and saying good game before the game starts? I already have double green, so I'm going to get black here as well. If you could not... okay. This is not Rakim. No land, that's kind of lame, but okay. What can I do? So this is not Legends, I think, because they have Celesto, so it's more like a control-ish deck. Which... So they draw, they discard. Let's see if they discard... Oh, yeah, it's definitely one of those decks. The Wandering Emperor. Okay, they might make a 2-2, two -two, who knows. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. You go for some rampy ramp. Yeah, draw this card. They're looking for mana. They found it. Okay, I can kill that. They have another Wandering Emperor. That's my thought. Otherwise, why would you do that? Go for throat is fine. This cannot even attack or block yet. Okay, why... Okay. I really think they have another Wandering Emperor. They 
want to start drawing, discarding. They for sure have another Wandering Emperor. Ooh. Whenever this creature enters battlefield or transforms, look at the top six cards. You may reveal a creature. That's great. Why would you let me do that? So I obviously think that they have the Wandering Emperor. I'm still going to attack to see. Yeah, they have. It's okay. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. This is what you get for hurting my Not people. much I can do there. I can start getting cards, which is a bit annoying. They're also at 26 life, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so they gain life, draw two cards, and discard two cards. Two cut downs, makes sense. They seem pretty bad in this situation. I guess that's it. We must protect the people. So they don't have mana now for the Wandering Emperor, which is great. I'm just, I'm not going to do another one because I'm a bit afraid that they have more shenanigans. They for sure have one shenanigan. Sure. Doesn't matter. Okay, so they create two one ones, that's fine. What else? Ooh, a braid. Okay, let's attack with our 6-6 six, six and our 3-3. Three, three. Sure. Take 6, it has trample. How many whales do they have? Who has the good game now? Not me, because you conceded, but I won. Never say good game before even starting the game. It's bad jujitsu. Juju, juju. Feng Shu. I don't know. It's not good jujitsu. Juju, juju. Feng Shu. I think it's Feng Shu. It's not good. Yes. This is lovely. I'll keep it. Hello. Oh, no, blue. Hmm. Opponent into some shenanigans, I see. much I can do. Okay. This cannot be countered. They have something, otherwise they would activate this again. Sure. I mean, what can I do? No cards, no creature cards. That's crazy. Let's try to attack. Okay. 
uncounterable once again. Ah, finally we're talking. I have no idea what they're doing. But maybe they'll kill me now? Okay... They only have two lands. Two islands, I guess. That's weird. Here we go. Okay! I guess they had counters and I was just <laughs> playing these uncounterable things and they got really mad. We are ready to rock and roll. In this case, to Golgari. Yeah, I can keep this. Okay, two mana. I like this end, although I would prefer if it was a bit um, faster, let's say, but not much we can do. Also, this is going to be very good against blue, but not black. Do you know what I have? Sure. So this means that the coast is clear for me to ramp, which I love. I need a not that after all. That was creepy. Okay, I guess. So maybe they have another gopher throat? Sure. Looks like they don't have removal. Sure. Negate, okay. Ooh, that's very annoying. this one should have used the not that after all that was a mistake I go to five yeah there's a counter spell Can they use five spells? That's the question. It's okay, I guess. Ah, they are afraid now. So this is like whenever you cast whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant or sorcery counter. So they can only counter once. So right now I have 12 power. That's not enough. They have to block this and this. But that's not enough here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. That really helps me out and helps out the channel. Really, really, I want to get to 10k by the end of the year and it would make me so happy if you hit the subscribe button. We are already 8k. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, about the deck, 
just as a retrospective, I liked it. It was pretty good. I had fun. It's not the most competitive deck, obviously, but it's a fun deck, you know? I like not that after all in a lot of situations. <laughs> that game one, <laughs> it's just insane. Uh, and yeah, after all, I do like this deck and I hope you enjoy it too. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video.